For years, patients around the country have been sent surprise medical bills for emergency room visits, often for thousands of dollars when they receive care outside of their insurance network. When you have to go to the emergency room, you are not thinking about whether the hospital or the doctor is in your network. You're thinking about the crisis at hand. You may not even have a choice of hospitals depending upon where the ambulance takes you. This bill says that patients will only have to pay the in-network price for emergency visits. I'm proud that in my state of Connecticut, we've passed laws protecting patients from surprise bills for emergency room visits. But I've heard from hundreds of constituents about surprise bills, including from a family whose sister-in-law received the surprise medical bill after her husband passed away from brain cancer and it turned out that his treatment was not covered and considered experimental. This is unfair. This is flat out wrong. This bipartisan legislation will end this harmful practice and put patients first. Our bill will require insurers will have to provide good faith estimate of how much the patient will have to pay and whether the treatment is covered for services scheduled three days in advance or at the request of the patient. And both the Congressional Budget Office and the Joint Committee on Taxation have stated in their cost estimates of the bill that this bill will not increase insurance premiums, as some have argued. In fact, CBO and the Joint Committee on Tax say that it will reduce premiums as well as in-network and out-of-network payment rates. This bill is the best legislation for patients. Thank you, Chairman Neal, and thank you, Chairman and Ranking Member Brady. I am also proud to have introduced uh, a, a, a consumer bill, uh, the Know Your Patients Providers Act, with uh, Dr. Winstrup. Our bill requires healthcare insurers to provide an up-to-date and accurate provider directory database containing a list of all healthcare providers and facilities that are in the insurance plans network. When patients go to the website to look up whether their doctor is in network, they should have an accurate database to rely on. They shouldn't have to go to their appointment to find out that after they are billed that the doctor is out of their network. Lastly, I'd like to mention that I support additional transparency measures to reduce health care costs that we are not able to take up today. These transparency measures, such as reporting of health care data, will help patients track their own results and drive down health care costs. I look forward to working with the chairman on this as we work out the details of the final surprise billing package with our colleagues in the House and in the Senate. And with that, I yield back.